A highway crash the previous March sidelined the 2016 series champion with serious injuries. His eventual comeback in 2019 was a mixed bag of highlight reel moments. But a new year and a new beginning are just the things Tanner Thorson was seeking with the outset of the 2020 USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midget season. His second in his 108th career start, trying to get his third here to kick off 2020. Green flag is out, we're back underway. Here comes Tanner Thorson, oil fire to the front. And the former USAC National Midget Champion takes the lead. Kofoid says, I don't think so. And here comes Thor Thorson once again to the inside. Battle for the lead, slide job city. Kofoid and Thorson going at it here at Bubba Raceway Park. White flag has been displayed. Half a lap to go now for Thorson as he works down the back straightaway. Looking for his 14th career USAC National Midget win, Thorson. Gets it done here at Bubba Raceway Park. Chris Windham's second race as a member of Tucker Boat Motorsports began much the same as his first the night before by having to quickly make up ground from his 10th starting spot and dig his way into contention after starting behind the eight ball and the first three rows, all while trouble thwarted a repeat Thorson performance. Meanwhile, Chris Windham taking a look to the inside of Tyler Courtney. So 89's got some moves in him here. Is he going to have enough to try and run down? Tanner Thorson looks like that car's hooked up pretty good down low in three. He'll kick off 2020 round two with his third career win here at Bubba Raceway Park. Big Daddy gets it done here at Winter Dirt Games. As Tanner Thorson recollected his first three starts of the season, one of his first thoughts was, we should be three for three. Instead, the 2016 series champ has had to settle for two out of three following the Shamrock Classic at the Southern Illinois Center. And like a common refrain from a song you might have heard in the past, Two out of three ain't bad. Him and the four of Robert Dalby, as you talked about, as Thorson takes over second from Tyler Thomas. Dalby up into the mix and Kyle Simon as well. But Tanner Thorson on a tear. Here comes Tyler Thomas once again coming off the inside of turn two. Tanner Thorson been working that low part of the racetrack and Chris Wyndham, I don't know if he knows what's coming. Maybe you can see him right there, but he uh, is the 91T. Again to the inside. Thorson going to take a look to the inside in turn three. Here comes the slider for the lead, and he will get it done. Coming off turn four, Tanner Thorson to the point. Tyler Thomas now looking to the inside four of Chris Windham. Made some big moves to get to the point. And it's going to pay off for him here as the white flag has been displayed for Tanner Thorson. As he works down the back straightaway for the final time, looking for his 15th career. USAC National Midget win. Thorson will win the Shamrock Classic here at DeCoy. Following a two and a half month quarantine, it had been quite a while since the series was last in competition. What had become routine over the last several years is a Tyler Courtney feature victory, and the defending champ once again nestled into that routine in the inaugural T-Town Midget Showdown at Port City Raceway in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tyler Courtney now gets by Tanner Thorson who tries to get back underneath him coming off turn two. Courtney slams on the brakes off to wipe them both out. And Thorson gonna keep the spot at least momentarily. Takes a look to the inside of Buddy Copoid who has lost a little bit of ground now. 1.4 seconds to the leader. Three wide for a bit there coming off turn two. Tanner Thorson now to the inside of Buddy Copoid. Three wide once again as Sunshine works down low. Coming off two, trying to take the spot. Car battle for second through turns three and four. Thorson now back to the inside. Sunshine, little issue up on the cushion. As Tanner Thorson will take second from Tyler Courtney. Buddy Cook forward right through the middle part of the racetrack. Thorson still working down low. Courtney's been trying to knock the fence down. Now has a run coming off turn two. Seven BC to second. And a nice run off turn number two. Sunshine finding some grip. Down low as Wyndham slides high. They are still side by side as they cross the stride. 17 to go. Courtney, you can see him barely sawing on that wheel. Got to be patient. Calm, cool, and collected to run the bottom. Looks like it's a little better coming off turn two than maybe coming off turn four if he hits it right. And Courtney now with the advantage off turn two. New leader, Tyler Courtney into turn three. One lap to go, bounces off the cushion in four. Up on top once again, CV working the gutter at line. Can he do anything here? In turns three and four. Sunshine will hold him off and get the win. Night number one of the T-Town Midget Showdown here at Port City. Sometimes you take inspiration from anywhere you can gather it up. 
For Justin Grant, it was he who claimed he channeled his inner Jeff Spicoli from the movie Fast Times at Ridgemont High to score the following night's feature win at the T-Town Midget Showdown at Port City. It's a way of looking at that wave and saying, hey bud, let's party. And that's how he felt on this night. Grant falls back to second as Wyndham throws the big slider coming off of turn number two. Jason McDougal trying to get up in the mix here, so it's Wyndham. Grant, one, two, as they head back into turn three. Here comes the slider for Justin Grant, bouncing off the cushion. He'll retake the lead, coming off four. Back to the inside, a little insurance slide job, if you will, they're coming off turn two. And Grant, the new leader. Meanwhile, Big Daddy says, I don't think so, pal. I'll take the lead once again. They almost touch Grant, back to the inside. As they race off turn number two, now the white flag is out. It was a two lap dash, one to go here for Justin Grant, Chris Windham. No chance entering turn number three and coming off turn four, Justin Grant will win night number two of the T-Town Midget Showdown here at Port City Raceway. When you're hot, you're hot. And Kyle Larson was nearly untouchable throughout 2020, just as he was in mid-June with what was at the time his sixth consecutive win behind the wheel between World of Outlaws All-Star and USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midget Competition during the opening round of the 16th annual Indiana Midget Week at Paragon Speedway. The first visit for the series to the track in 35 years. With the oil fire on the side is your leader. There goes Kyle Larson trying the big slide job on Selzy, who hits the brakes and shoots right back underneath him to retake second. Again, teammates with Tucker Bone again. Here comes Young Buddy to the inside in turn three. The slider up on top. Selzy right back underneath him. Retakes it one more time. Stenhouse sits in third, wants to get up into the mix as they throw sliders left and right. That's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. there in the fourth spot. Big bike there, big moment for Kyle Larson. That allows Stenhouse to reel him in just a little bit. Meanwhile, Larson could care less, throws the slider on Selzy and turns one and two, and it looks like he will clear him. Larson now to the second spot. Selzy back to third, Stenhouse with a run as they battle for that third spot. Selzy in the 84, Ricky Stenhouse there in the NOS, Energy to Ring 17S. The battle for third. Battle is for the lead. CV still running ninth. Thorson and Larson down the back straightaway. Minden, Nevada versus Elk Grove, California. Larson closes in through turns three and four. On the back bumper, he'll try the slider down in turn one. One more time for Kyle Larson. Big slider on Tanner Thorson who feeds him a wheel coming off turn two. Tanner Thorson gets into the left front of Kyle Larson. Didn't know if he broke something there on the left front or not. Larson continues on. So no issues there, possibly bending the shock maybe, don't know, but wow. Tanner Thorson not playing around here tonight during Midget Week. And Kyle Larson right on the back bumper will have another shot as they cross the stripe, it's four laps to go. Thorson and Larson running first and second. Larson right back to him, beats him the right wheel back and takes the lead down the back straightaway. Kyle Larson out front, beginning to pull away from Tanner Thorson as they cross the stripe. Three to go for Young Money. Five in a row with the Outlaws and the All-Stars trying to kick off the 16th running of Indiana Midget Week with a win here at Paragon. Through turns three and four for the final time. And it is Young Money getting it done. Night one of Midget Week. The following morning began with a $1,000 bounty being placed on Kyle Larson, courtesy of Richard and Jennifer Marshall of Priority Aviation. At the end of the day, he remained elusive to all his challengers, vying to catch him despite starting all the way back in the 14th starting position during the second round of Indiana Midget Week at Gas City. Meanwhile, for a second, there is Kofoy holding off. Kyle Larson as they go nose to tail. Tanner Carrick back there in fourth. Here comes Young Buddy one more time in turn three. Throwing the slider on Kofoid, back underneath him. Can he do it? In turn number one, Kofoid running him up the racetrack. Will retake second. Kyle Larson going to try it again. Does he have enough momentum to throw the slider? Can't do it, though we have caution. In turn number two, I believe, we got one stopped. It is a couple cars, and he is closing in once again on Tyler Courtney. 
as they go nose to tail down in turn number one. There's Buddy Copeboy not letting them run away. He says, you guys get the race, and I am right here as Kyle Larson outside, inside on Courtney for the lead through turns three and four. Courtney unable to get back by in turn one, or Willie can't do it. Kyle Larson to the point. Copeboy to try to work around the outside of Tyler Courtney as they race down the back straightaway into turn number three. And he will take it, Buddy Copeboy on the gas. Can he catch Kyle Larson? Way into turn three, white flag coming out this time by for Kyle Larson, side by side, right in front of him. Where's he gonna go? He goes low to throw a slider on Bacon and Dolby. Kofoid is there. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Kyle Larson into turns three and four. Kofoid is gonna go top shelf, but it's not gonna be enough. And Kyle Larson will win night number two of Midget Week here in Gas City. Just when a little doubt crept in that maybe a 15th place starting spot just might be too much to overcome. Kyle Larson was there to prove that notion wrong. Again, as the Elk Grove Californian ran a streak to three for three at Lincoln Park Speedway in Putnamville, Indiana, becoming the first driver to win three Indiana Midget Week races in a single year. Turn one, McIntosh trying to get to the inside of Kyle Larson, not gonna happen, and Young Lenny takes that second spot, he'll try again for the lead. Right on the back bumper of Tanner Thorson as McIntosh slides up for the lead. Up off the cushion, Thorson retakes it. Thorson, Larson, McIntosh, guess what? The pink and white 7X, here comes Timez. Banging wheels with McIntosh in turn three. One lap to go for that man, Young Money, trying to go three for three here in USAC, Indiana Midgeway competition, and Kyle Larson gets it done here at Lincoln Park Speedway. On a night where a throng of watchful eyes were fixed on whether Kyle Larson could continue his unbeaten streak in Indiana Midget Week, it wound up as the continuation of another ongoing streak. The dominance of Tucker Boat Motorsports, as Larson's teammate Chris Windham captured the team's fourth straight USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midget Victory of the Week with a 1-2 Tucker Boat sweep, led by Windham and Larson at Lincoln Park Speedway. As he battles with Chris Windham for the lead, Stenhouse, Courtney, Justin Graham, but we'll keep it right here. Side by side of the stripe, that lap with the Chris Wyndham. Kofoid again, around the outside, down the back straightaway. Into turn number three, Big Daddy will slide up. Kofoid, the crossover move, it's going to pay off, and Buddy Kofoid goes to the point. Chris Wyndham right back to the inside. As three laps complete, slide job city coming off two. We're going to see it again down in turn three. Wyndham throws the slider on Kofoid, back underneath, coming off four. Buddy Kofoid right to the top shelf. Wyndham slides him again in turn two, can't do it. Crossover move once again for the kid, Buddy Kofoid. And will throw it again down in turns three and four. Gets that thing turned. Meanwhile, here comes Chris Wyndham for the lead down in turn one. Big Daddy trying to take the top spot. He will momentarily get by Buddy Kofoid who throws the slider once again down in turns three and four. Chris Wyndham, relentless, back to the inside. The 89 works his way down the front straightaway. One more lap for Big Daddy here at Lincoln Park Speedway. Chris Wyndham, a winner down at Bubba Raceway Park, looking for win number two here in 2020. And the points lead as he comes on turn four. Chris Wyndham wins round four of Midget Week here at Lincoln Park Speedway. A one race losing streak was more than enough for Kyle Larson to endure as he got back on the winning track and returned to victory lane in the penultimate round at Lawrenceburg Speedway. A monumental triumph that provided him his ninth career victory at Indiana Midget Week, tying him atop the all time list for most wins in the series with Brian Clausen. Slider at least entering turn three. Larson will finish him off coming off turn four. So it's Thomas Meserol, Kyle Larson, Buddy Kofoid now back to the inside of the 86 as they go. Side by side down the back straightaway. Larson gets the best of them again down in turn three. Meserol on the gas to the not start can. We are underway. A good restart for Larson. He is there. He knows how to restart these midgets. The big slider for the 86. And will not make it work. Meserol right alongside of him as they enter turn number three one more time. Kofoid with a full head of steam goes. Top shelf as well as Larson looks to the inside. Coming off turn four. Kofoid is there. Three wide in turn number one for the lead. Larson, Kofoy, here comes Meserol again to the inside. Caution lights are on. Wow. And Meserol will pull away from the 67. Meanwhile, Kyle Larson says, I'm out here too, boys. And the 86 throws that slider on. Kofoy down in turn two. Kofoy right back to the inside in turn three. It's starting to get good. 
as it is six laps to go this time by as these guys get sporty for second that could allow Meserol to pull away Larson a big slider once again on Kofoid in turn two seven tenths of a second last time as Kofoid up on the bike above the cushion Larson begins to pull away green flag is out we are underway a pretty good restart there for Meserol a good one for Kyle Larson as well as he throws the slider on the 7x Larson bounces off the cushion and takes the lead off turn two Kyle Larson again through turns three and four begins to pull away but Meserol right on the back bumper as they head down the front straightaway Larson goes low T-Mez up on top Kofoid there less than three laps to go Meserol not going to give up Closes in on the back bumper of Kyle Larson. Takes a look to the inside through turn three and four. Slide job, not going to work. Two to go for Young Money. Trying to pick up a big one here at Lawrence Burke Speedway. Through turns three and four. Here at the Burke, Young Money gets it done. Round five of Midget Week. Two nights, Kyle two blown Larson engines. High, Those were the Thorson cards Tanner Thorson and Hayward much. Motorsports were dealt in the two races leading up to the Indiana Thorson Midget Week finale at Kokomo. Out like of power plants and out of options, the team received a lifeline in the 11th hour from a fellow competitor. The middle of the night scramble ensued and a borrowed engine was installed under the hood. Despite the lack of sleep, the thrashing, and the unknowns, Thorson still believed that all signs pointed to victory. Three lap dash, here to go. At the Kokomo Speedway as Tanner Thorson follows Chris Windham down low. Kyle Larson wants to go up top. Thorson to the inside down the back straightaway. And Tanner Thorson will take the lead in turn three. Young Money goes top shelf. Going to make a race out of it. Two to go. New leader Tanner Thorson. Windham there in second. Here comes Kyle Larson. He's going to keep it up on top. And it turns three and four. Looking for the white flag. This time by Larson. All the way around the outside, trying to build that momentum. White flag is out. Thorson, Larson, Wyndham, who's it going to be here at Kokomo? Down the back straight away into turn number three. Thorson has the lead. Wyndham down low. Young Money goes top shelf. Coming out turn four for the win. It's going to be Tanner Thorson. In a pivotal midsummer stretch, Chris Wyndham withstood repeated relentless challenges, including a hellacious final four lap trophy dash to the finish to capture his third USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midget feature victory of the season in the Midwest Midget Championship at Fairbury, Nebraska's Jefferson County Speedway. The kickoff to Mid America Midget Week. Meanwhile, here comes Chris Wyndham on the rear bumper of Cannon McIntosh. Kofoid up in the mix. Tanner Thorson there as well, calling a four car battle for the lead. Big Daddy to the inside in turn three, throwing the slider for the lead off turn four. Crossover move as, as they cross the stripe. Three laps to go. It was four lap coming out of that restart. Buddy Kofoid trying to reel in Big Daddy. Days of Persley there as well. The Keith Coons, Kerb Agajani and teammates. Run second and third. Two to go this time. Here comes Kofoid taking a look to the inside. A touch over turn two. Wyndham gets into the rear bumper side by side. Persley there as well. Chris Wyndham will throw the slider on Kofoid. Down in turns three and four. White flag is out. Last lap. Four contact here in the front straightaway. Big Daddy throws the slider on Kofoid. He will try and shut the door down the back stretch. Wyndham goes low. Kofoid goes up high. And off turn number four. Chris Wyndham will win here tonight at Jefferson County. After 21st and 22nd place finishes in his two most recent outings with the series, Tyler Courtney simply wasn't going to be stopped the following night at Nebraska's Jefferson County Speedway. Literally, he was unable to stop as he drove by victory lane without the aid of brakes. Works off turn number two. Buddy Kofoid is there. Axum gets underneath. Chris Windham as they race. Here comes Buddy Kofoid for the lead down in turn number four. Throws the slider. Emerson Axum there as well. Axum working down low as Courtney gets back in front. We got a new leader. It's the 15 of Emerson Axum. Three to go this time by. Emerson Axum out of nowhere, working low, is your leader. Here comes Thorson right behind him. Courtney around the top shelf, takes the lead once again. Courtney working the cushion, trying to stay perfect. Back out front, Axum trying to keep, his on, keep him on. It's two to go here in Jefferson County. Battle is for the lead. White flag coming out this time by. Tyler Courtney gets through turns three and four a little bit better. One lap to go. Tyler Courtney up on top. Emerson Axum looking for his first career win. Big run down the back straightaway for Sunshine as they work turns three and four. Who's it going to be as they cross the stripe? Sunshine, Tyler Courtney gets it done for the second straight year. When it rains, it pours. Sometimes that old idiom may involve negative characteristics, but there's also the positive side of the phrase that Tyler Courtney experienced throughout the weekend, a far cry from the former. 
which consumed him prior and almost reared its ugly head again when he nearly parked it on two separate occasions in the series debut at Caney Valley Speedway in Kansas. Still trying to work the outside part of the racetrack as Buddy Kofoid on the rear bumper of Tanner Carey. For the lead, Tyler Courtney to the inside, in turn number three, the big slider. Can he make it stick? Thorson trying to get back to the inside, can't make it work. New leader, it's Sunshine, Tyler Courtney. And now Thorson gets loose by himself. Turns around in turn two, collects Kofoid, McIntosh, and Tanner Carrick. No battle up front for the lead as Tyler Courtney, oh so slow, working down low and turns one and two. He'll drive it in turns three and four for the final time, and there he is. Sunshine, Tyler Courtney goes back to back here at Mid-America Midget Week as he gets it done here in Caney, Kansas. Two nights earlier, Tanner Thorson had faced a strikingly similar scenario as he did on this night during Tuesday Night Thunder at Oklahoma's Red Dirt Raceway. Thorson had been passed late by Courtney, then spun out moments later at Caney Valley, but at Red Dirt, Thorson made sure his ultimate fate was going to play out differently, this time in his favor. We'll see if it pays off for him down in turn number one. He goes up top, Tyler Courtney to the inside. Jerry Coons runs down low, axe him there as well. Thorson will use the momentum. As he will lead Tyler Courtney down in turn number three. White flag going to be coming out. Coons running down low. Buddy Copefoy throwing the slider. Chris Windham to the inside. White flag is out. One to go. Side by side, Windham and Axum. Meanwhile, up front, it will be Tanner Thorson in the number 19 working off the cushion. Off turn four, and he'll get the win. Hands in the air as Thor Thorson gets it done here at Red Dirt Raceway. Tyler Courtney and Clawson Marshall Racing turned around a little bit of misfortune from earlier in the night into good fortune in the Eastern Midget Week opener at Kutztown, Pennsylvania's Action Track USA. Following Courtney's first qualifying lap, a coil went south, preventing him from recording a second lap. However, that first lap and Courtney's subsequent third place finish in his heat provided him a view from the outside of the front row for the 30 lap feature. 13 down, 17 to go here at Action Track USA. Sunshine back on the hammer. We're underway one more time. Kofoy taking a look to the inside. Justin Grant trying the same line on Tanner Thorson. He'll go top shelf on the 19 through turns three and four. Thorson a little hiccup running down low in turn four. Grant now will throw the slider on the 19 and try and take third. Thorson right back to the inside as they race into three. Great battle up front for second spot. A three car battle. Tanner Thorson. Christopher Bell, Buddy Kofoy now gets a love tap from Justin Grant, taking the scenic route through the infield. He'll lose a couple spots, but we'll continue on. No issues up front as Tyler Courtney brings it off turn four. He'll win night number one of Eastern Midget Week. Sometimes in the ups and downs of life, you just need a bump in the right direction to get you going where you need to go. In the Eastern Midget Week finale at Lanco's Clyde Martin Memorial Speedway, Tyler Courtney received just that early on, accidentally hitting the kill switch, but receiving a bit of divine intervention to send him on his way. As Tanner Carrick continues to lead, Buddy Kofoid in that black and white 67. Now Sunshine with an issue down in turn one. He will collect Justin Grant and caution lights will come on. Jump on the gas and we're back underway. As Tyler Courtney took a look to the inside there on Chris Windham. Here comes Big Daddy to the inside. He'll throw that slider on Chase Johnson. Crossover move for the 25 back underneath to retake second. So Chase Johnson again will retake that spot. Meanwhile, Tyler Courtney now gets to the inside of Chris Windham. He tries to fight back inside turn three as they slice the dice. And now Tyler Courtney again with a hiccup in turn four. Red lights on. We got one upside down over in turn number two. As Buddy Kofoy now trying to throw that slider on Chris Wyndham. Can't quite do it. He'll try it again down in turns three and four. Will he be able to do it? He'll slide in front of Big Daddy, who cuts right back to the inside to retake the spot. Tanner Carrick still your leader. Ten down, 30 to go, but here comes Tyler Courtney throwing the slider on the 35. Sunshine will go to the outside. Carrick retakes the lead as they cross the strike. We're going to see that all night. Big wheel stand there from Tyler Courtney off turn two. As Carrick now works in the middle part of the racetrack, trying to keep the 7BC behind him. Right on the rear bumper of the 35, back into turn one they go. Tyler Courtney trying to shoot off the bottom, coming off turn two, he'll get it done and take the lead. Sunshine to the point, Carrick back to second, Kofoy now up to third. Carrick not letting him run away as Tyler Courtney bouncing around, turns one and two. There's Buddy Kofoy, as Carrick now again will try the inside on Sunshine, can't quite make it work. And now we'll have to worry about Buddy Kofoid as the 67 looks to the inside in turn one. 
Does Buddy Kofoid have anything for him? 34 down, six to go. We're back underway here at the Clyde. Tanner Thorson trying to shoot the inside of Carrick as Courtney's carrying that right front all the way down the back straightaway. Buddy Kofoid trying to throw the slider for the lead. Can't quite make it work in turn four. Trying to uh, sweep Eastern Midget Week and Sunshine. Works through turns three and four for the final time. He'll bring it up, turn four, and get the win here at the Clyde. Tyler Courtney wins. In the moments leading up to the final lap of Missouri's Sweet Springs Motorsports Complex, Cannon McIntosh figured a chance at victory was just out of the realm of possibility. Yet all it takes to win is to lead just one inch, a foot, a yard, which he did to erase a late race one second lead held by Chris Windham. White flag for the Big Daddy. Boy, Cannon McIntosh is trying. He's trying. He's trying! He's trying! Cannon McIntosh made a run! After pounding on the door all throughout his rookie USAC season, Buddy Kofoid finally busts through the door on the second of two nights at Missouri Sweet Springs Motorsports Complex, coming just one night following a rough and tumble opening lap. Well, Chris went up with a strong move. He slides in front of Courtney. And Buddy Kofoid has done it. Can Buddy Kofoid, could this be his moment? Can a McIntosh not willing to concede? We saw that last night, and he's not going to. He gets a good run there, and that's Cannon. Cannon backs it in. Kofoid trying to hold him off. Wheel to wheel stuff here. This is what you pay to see. Oh, and Cannon makes that slide, and it just falls short. And do not count him out. Look at him back it in. Sunshine comes down the hill. Here comes Tyler. Now goes down low. Hold your breath. White flag is out. Sunshine, look at him. He's going to make one more run. Can Buddy Kelfoy be clean here? I think he can, but here comes Sunshine. No. Buddy Kelfoy. For Keith Coons, Kerr Bagajani Motorsports, it was only a matter of time before winning returned to the team's narrative following a 27-race winless streak that stretched a span of 13 months until earlier this month. Enter September, and the team was aiming for three for three, and on this night, it would be Cannon McIntosh's turn again at Indiana's Gas City I-69 Speedway. His teammate right behind him in the 71K down the back straightaway. Side by side, there is the 7BC, that's Sunshine. Tyler Courtney looking to the inside for that second spot. Meanwhile, for the lead, personally will slide up. Kenny McIntosh with a nice run coming off turn two. And the 71K takes the lead, entering turn number three. So new leader, it's Kenny McIntosh. Personally falls back to second. To go here, the kickoff, the double-double weekend for Kenny McIntosh, $5,000 up for grabs. Final time through turn three and four. The 71K brings it off turn four, and Cannon McIntosh gets it done here at Gas City. Chris Windham had won pretty much everything Kokomo Speedway has had to offer throughout the past decade. He's won sprint car track championships, numerous victories, and was even victorious in a USAC regional midget feature in 2016. Nonetheless, that one USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midget feature win at Kokomo had eluded him going into the second night of the Double Double. Two for two here tonight at Kokomo Speedway. Holding off, Chris Windham in the 89. Battle for the championship, battle for the race win here in the U USAC National Midget Series. Chris Windham once again coming off that low line to turn number two, looking for some grip. Tyler Courtney up on the bike, he'll lose it. Down in turn number four, back on the gas. Wow, what a ride for Sunshine in turn three. As Chris Windham stretches out his lead, Tyler Courtney now having to deal with the hard charging Tanner Thorson. One to go. Here at Kokomo Speedway, this double-double weekend for Chris Windham as he exits turn number two. Thorson and Courtney still going at it for that second spot. But it's Big Daddy, Chris Windham, coming off turn number four as he will get the win here at Kokomo Speedway. Owner Tom Malloy and Tanner Thorson's first two races together resulted in finishes of fourth and third, but the third race of Thorson's tenure with the team turned out to be the charm as the resurgent Minden, Nevada native hunted down the race lead late in the going to become the seventh different Jason Leffler Memorial winner in the seven runnings of the event at Wayne County Speedway in Illinois. On racetrack jumps to the top shelf down in turn three and four. Tanner Thorson and Kevin Thomas Jr. throwing sliders. They battle for that third spot. There goes Thorson. 
to the inside. KTJ trying to get back to the inside down the back straightaway. He'll make it work. Tanner Thorson again with the slider in turns three and four. Winning with no idea that Thorson is coming and he is reeling him in. Thorson on that 25 car, closes right in, coming off turn two. Battle for the lead, Wyndham trying to shut the door in turn three. Can he do it? He cannot. And Thorson moves to the point. Nice job by Tanner Thorson. Wyndham has no idea the bottom working. As the white flag will come out, one lap to go. Tanner Thorson to the inside off turn and number two down the back straightaway for the final time from the sixth spot. We'll get it done coming off turn number four and we'll visit victory lane here at the Jason Leffler Memorial. In his two plus decades of racing with USAC, one piece of the puzzle had been surprisingly absent from Thomas Meserol's resume. A NOS Energy Drink National Midget points paying feature victory. After many a close call throughout his career, Meserol finally sealed the deal during Harvest Cup at Hobstadt Indiana's Tri-State Speedway, but once again for him, it didn't come easy. Back on the gas off turn number four, exactly how he passed Justin Grant. He's gonna try it for the lead. Oh, Jason McDougal coming out turn number two. It's Timez. He goes to the point in the 7X. Thomas Meserol out in front. Working off turn at number four. And Thomas Meserol will lead lap number eight. McDougal up into the fence, up over the cushion. And that is allowing a Meserol to, to uh, pull away as they work through turn three and four. Thomas will slide high off turn number two. Here comes Thorson. In turn number three as Cummins will slide high once again. Thorson right to the inside. Great move by the 25M. That car really came on strong last night at the Jason Leffler Memorial. But the 7X of Thomas Meserol working the high line. We'll see the white flag this time by. One lap to go. Does Tanner Thorson have anything for him? Meserol in heavy lap traffic. Smoke coming out of the left side. Tosses the tear off. Wipes off the visor for the final time. Here it will be, Thomas Meserol off turn four by a nose over Tanner Thorson who came out of nowhere, coming off turn number four. Wow. For the final push to victory on the green-white checker finish of the opening night of the Western World Championships at Arizona Speedway, most eyes were affixed on the front two of Logan Seavey and Buddy Kofoid as the pair streamed into turn one. By the time those two reached the second turn, it was instead Tanner Thorson who combed the bottoms of turns one and two, driving past both to surge back into the championship race. CV in command looking for his first win of 2020. Brings him off turn number four. Green flag is out. Great restart for Buddy Kofoid as he shoots to the inside. Down in turn number one. Tanner Thorson is there as well. Kofoid will slide high. It is Thorson taking the lead. Coming off turn two. White flag coming out. Tanner Thorson is Kofoid. Throws a slider back on Logan Seavey. It's Thorson. Seavey. Kofoid as they cross the stripe. Courtney up into fourth. Justin Grant trying to take over fifth. Tanner Thorson for the final time into turns three and four. And Tanner Thorson will get it done. Night number one of the Western world. 364 nights earlier, Buddy Kofoid arrived at Arizona Speedway's Western World Championships as a newcomer to the USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midget Wars when he made his first series start in the event, finishing a distant 22nd. That was a distant memory 364 nights later when Kofoid became a Western World Champion while Chris Windham vaulted back into the series point lead. Seven to go for your leader, Buddy Kofoid. Cannon McIntosh now trying to get to the inside of Spencer. Baston can't do it. And we got one upside down big time down in turn number one. And we can see Noah Gass out of the race car over there talking to the uh, personnel as they race for the Western World Championship win. Coming off turn number four, it will go to the 67, Buddy Kofoid. Coming up through the ranks in the earliest years of his racing career, Buddy Kofoid idolized Kyle Larson. In the NOS Energy Drink November Classic at California's Bakersfield Speedway, the two competed as teammates for the first time on the venerable Keith Coons, Curb Agajanian Motorsports team, with the young upstart establishing himself as a premier midget racer. Meanwhile, the championship race would come down to the final corner, the final lap with the third prong Courtney of the coveted Triple the Crown Championship four, on the line for Chris Wynn. Meanwhile, out in front, great restart. Little hole there coming off turn four as Christy Bemis talked about. Nice little shot coming off turn four as Kyle Larson tries to throw the slider. Contact with Kofoid who has to jump on the binders there in turn number two. And Larson retakes the lead. Wow, big move from Young Money on this restart. Buddy Kofoid going to try and reel him back in. Chase Johnson back there as well. Kofoid trying the slider on one and two, not going to work. 
Kyle Larson around the outside once again. Kofoid up on top. Tyler Courtney now trying to get around the outside of Chase Johnson. That's the battle for third. Meanwhile, Spencer Basin and the rest of these guys going at it. Kofoid going to slide him again down in turn one as Chris Windham has raced into eighth. Kofoid around the outside. Kyle Larson working down low through those holes on the inside at turn number four. And Larson will take it again. Battle right now is for that eighth position as Cannon McIntosh gets by Chris Windham. Tanner Thorson now slides high. Windham right back to the inside. Meanwhile, for the lead, here they go. Young Money, Kyle Larson, feeling pressure again from his teammate, Buddy Kofoid, throwing sliders left and right. It will be three laps to go this time by. Windham takes over seventh. Tyler Courtney runs in fourth. Kofoid crossing the stripe. Out in front, Kyle Larson second, Tyler Courtney third. As he gets by Chase Johnson, here comes Spencer Baston. Baston right now running at your top five. Stenhouse, Thorson, Wyndham, your top eight. Chris Wyndham trying to throw the slider on Stenhouse, can't do it. It looks like Thorson gonna get back to the inside. Big Daddy, once again down in turn one. Stenhouse, outside in on Chris Wyndham. White flag coming out this time by for Buddy Kofoy trying to go back to back with the NOS Energy Drink USAC National Midget Series and win his third career USAC National Midget Feature Event. Down the back straightaway through turns three and four. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Larson throws a slider. Not going to be enough and Cuffoid wins the November Classic here at Bakersfield. With the final two races of the season paying appearance points only, it was all about the racing for the 54 car field on this night. For Thomas Meserol, that coveted first points paying race victory with the USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midgets was two decades in the making when he notched win number one in October. Just a month and change later, Meserol was celebrating victory number two following the series' first ever event at his home state track of Merced Speedway in California. Personally throws the slider, Carrick right back to the inside. Here comes Thomas Meserol. He will go! by both of them and take over the lead in turn three. Tanner Carrick right back to the inside out turn four. So Carrick out front personally now back to second. Miserol back to third, a three car battle for the point as here comes Dason Pursley hungry for that first win. Tanner Carrick right back to the inside will retake the lead. Carrick, Pursley, Miserol, one, two, three. Golubic sits fourth, Cannon McIntosh right now rounds out your top five. Days of Pursley one more time down in turns three and four. We'll slide in front of Tanner Carrick, crossover move. We're going to see that a lot here in this 30 lap A main. Team is still chilling in third as Carrick again will slide him. Coming up two and Pursley one more time. Right back to the point, trying to shut the door on Carrick. He will get it done. Based and working around the outside of Tanner Thorson. Meanwhile, up front, Thomas Meserol one more time in that pink 7X takes over second. Now we'll set his sights on Carrick for the lead in turn number two. Carrick bounces off the cushion, and that will allow Team Mez to take the point. Meserol right to the top. Carrick going to try the bottom. Not going to work this time by. And Meserol will lead lap number 10. 10 of the books, 20 to go here at Merced. McIntosh around the outside. Tanner go. Now McIntosh bounces off the, off the cushion. Little bit of smoke out of the 71K, and then a big slider. It turns one and two. It'll be two laps to go this time by for Thomas Meserol as Tanner Carrick and Cannon McIntosh put on a show. Thorson and Larson going at it side by side. There's Macedo and Shane Golubic. Three cars trying to run down Golubic as Pursley bounces off the cushion coming off turn four. As the green flag comes out, Timez pulls away from the 98K. White flag coming out this time by Cannon McIntosh. Now in the rear bumper of Tanner Carrick as they race through turns three and four. Carrick closes the distance just a little bit there in three and four. One lap to go for Thomas Meserol. He grew up just north of here in San Jose, California, trying to win one in his home state. Through turns three and four, Timez will bring it off and get the win here at Merced Speedway. Chris Windham's appearance on the final night of the season at Merced Speedway clinched him the 2020 USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midget Championship. But for others, it was all about bragging rights and winning the season finale. From Ocala, Florida to Merced, California, the 2020 season concluded in the same manner it began with Tanner Thorson's presence in victory lane to become just the sixth driver to win both the first and the last race of the USAC midget season. Sunshine can't make it stick, but these guys are catching the Buddy Kofoid. Thorson trying to make a run, six wins on the year. 
Ford Thorson trying to get number seven to close out 2020. Side by side for the lead. Kofoid off the cushion. New leader on the back straightaway. It's the 25 of Tanner Thorson. Back up front. Here we go for the lead. Thorson down low. Big cushion up there and turns one and two for Buddy Kofoid. Thorson, little hiccup there on the inside berm. That allows Kofoy to get a run through turns three and four, and the 67. Back to the point as they race back into turn one. Meanwhile, it's still Kofoy, Thorson, Courtney. Throw a blanket over the top three as Buddy Kofoy throws the slider on his teammate, doesn't stick. Here comes Sunshine around the outside of Thorson. Now looks to the inside for the lead through turns three and four. Six laps to go, Tyler Courtney on the move. Kofoy up on top, Courtney down low by a nose. Off turn number two as Kofoy tries to shut the door on Sunshine, contact in turn number three. Five laps to go this time by new leader, Sunshine. Tyler Courtney to the point, though Kofoy will throw that slider once again down in turns one and two. Great battle up in front. We'll keep it right here as Tyler Courtney looks to the inside. Once again on Kofoy, ripping the top shelf on turn four, back to the top spot. Kofoy, Courtney, Thorson, one, two, three. Three laps to go, this time by for Tanner Thorson. At, or for Buddy Kofoy. Meanwhile, Thorson working down low, trying to take the lead. Tyler Courtney trying to go to the inside in turn one. Tanner Thorson by a nose. Out in front once again. There's Kofoy to the outside, down the back straightaway. Two laps to go, this time by. Who will it be? Tanner Thorson back out front. To the inside of the 67K. Thorson off turn number two. A nice little advantage now over Buddy Kofoy. White flag coming out this time by. Big move for Buddy Kofoy in turn three. He'll slide high. White flag is out. One to go for Tanner Thorson. Kofoy second. Sunshine sits in third. Down the back straightaway here at Merced Speedway to close out 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, seventh win on the year for Tanner Thorson as the checker flag. A USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midget season unlike any other wound up tied for the closest championship race in series history. One single point between champion Chris Wyndham and runner-up Tyler Courtney in the final tally for 2020, which saw Wyndham complete the USAC career triple crown after collecting prior titles with Silver Crown in 2016 and the M-Soil National Sprint Cars in 2017, while also giving Tucker Boat Motorsports its first ever owner's title. 